we are human beings, even if, uh, you know, the characters and they're actually people like that, uh, like uh, Sheldon Cooper and uh, Beverly Hostetter don't, to a lot of us, act like one, right? They can be very cold-hearted orb that rules the night, makes colors fade from our sight and all that crap. They don't act like humans, you know. They, they Unless it's directly egocentric around them, it doesn't matter to them, you know, while they're getting what they deserve. And there's a lot of people okay, that have lost their humanity because they believe the bullshit they tell themselves. They had this thing on, I turned on the TV here, and it's called the Potter's Touch. And it has this fat, lion-ass motherfucker named Jenks. Gets up there and reads the Bible and talks about the Torah and, and sits there and reads Constantine's and Jerome's uh, corruption of the Gospels. You know, and Jesus, you know, I'm the living word. You know, you've lost your way because you believe the people that write it down in books and change it. And the living word always corrects it. When something is right and someone's has the f kindness of courage and the faith to say, you know, when something's right, they, they say it and believe it. When something's wrong, they'll correct it, right? So I'm not here to kiss your ass if you're making usury and abusing people off of bullshit written on pages of paper. I'm here to call you on your crap, right? That's what Jesus says in the Bible. And there's that motherfucker up there asking for millions of dollars in Jesus' name. It says, what God wants you to have in your life. God's omnipotent and omnipotent. God has provided everything you need to sustain yourself through natural laws and praise God and believe in the Lord and behave like the Lord. And the Lord knows what you need before you need it. And you need the truth and you need to shut the fuck up, right? Because I'm the Lord, bitch. Not Janksy. Not Olstein, not Joyce Meyer, not Michael Youssef, not Charles Stanley, not Andy Stanley, not you, you know, not any of those assholes on TV. They don't know the Lord. They deny the Lord. Okay? They sit and get lots of money for passing off bullshit as reality. While the Lord, Earl, okay, born in New Mexico, just like it says in the book of Revelation, okay, is anonymously abused by their business partners. And they act like he didn't happen, and he don't happen, and we ain't post-apocalypse, right? So fucking lying assholes like us on Facebook. <laughs> Load up the app, right? And so you know how they are. Um, I don't think uh, Jeff Bezos is taking a risk on on on, on allowing, uh, using the linguistics in his social media site for me to still be able to load, okay? It takes a long time, unless I get Prime. If I put the money down and get Prime, I could probably load a lot. But, it's, you know, the technology, through archaic technology that you taxpayers gave me, is monitoring my activities. I'm not in any kind of a hurry to hunt down and kill people with technology. I'm not Elon Musk, and I'm not the assholes in China, and I'm not the assholes all over, you know, hey, we're, we're going to take over the world. Our team's the best. Fuck you. <laughs> All I'm interested in is people living the Lord's Prayer. All right. Just being able to give the children, you know, the, the real faith of Abraham, the real love of Father Adam and, and Mother Eve. You know, that's all I'm interested in. All I'm interested in is people living the Lord's Prayer. Okay. That's it. Period. Okay. I'm not interested in being famous. Once everybody knows who I am, then I'm going to go off to the mountains and maybe visit Patrick by the ocean and hang out and just, and just love and be loved in return. I'm going to have affection and things that, you know, it, most of you'd be better. Okay. With the physical prowess I had athletically, the intellectual prowess that I possess because other people are broken because they're egotistical and insane and competitive instead of, Hey, one and one is two. There you go. Do you see what I'm saying? They're not humble. Most of you'd be mad. She'd be like, I didn't want a competitive life where I shined above everybody else and everybody told me how great I was. I just wanted a life unmolested, un, uh, not abused, and people not having virtual presence in my house competing with me because they wanted to be better than me, and they never were. Right? I just wanted to have a faithful life with a faithful wife and raise faithful kids. 
All I ever wanted, right? And I'm not Val Kimber pretending to be Moses. I'm the spirit of Moses. <laughs> all I ever wanted, alabaster stone and all your bullshit, you know. And you assholes on TV, look at the Black Friday sales. It's sitting there. This is my hometown. This is where I was born. Okay, vamos to uh, Nissan of Las Cruces. We support local businesses and schools. Okay, this is where I was born and raised. Earl, the son of Ralph and Mary, born in the near Vere Valley of the Shadow. These people are on TV smiling, dressed up in their best clothes, selling cars, and polluting the air as if it was a gift from the Lord's closet of insanity, right? And you like sitting there going, Really? No, Jeff Bezos didn't uh, keep the language to where I could get online and say what's necessary for us to understand and live the Lord's Prayer. All right. And Zuckerberg, no, he kicked me off. All right. I don't trust or like Zark Zuckerberg. Okay. In the future, I think I could probably trust and like Jeff Bezos. Okay. It's entirely tangible. You know, he may be the one person who says, hey, let's just, you know, let's give this person a right. He, he, I, on social media, I have public access because of that man's social media uh, network, okay? Zuckerberg and Suarez and, and Sandberg, no. Okay. And then you got, oh, Jews are God's chosen people. They've chose to take the Messiah and kick him out of their public arena to speak truthfully so we can save children from genocide over money. Okay, you guys are still going to sit there and wait support Israel. I'm Israel. Okay. Israel is the faith of Adam and Eve. Okay. And you sure the fuck ain't getting that on Facebook, and you sure the fuck ain't getting that for them that sorry ass mass murderer Benjamin Netanyahu. Okay. Or Rabbi Eckstein and his lying fucking daughter. Right? They're horrible people. They're disgusting. But what are you doing about it? All you lukewarm people on TV, like Travis Hunter and Shakir uh, uh, Sanders, Shooter Sanders, okay, and Shiloh Sanders, making millions of dollars playing college football with their daddy wearing a crucifix because we crucified Jesus Christ and we tell everybody what to do with the money because everybody wants a big bag of money. And they're acting like, I don't happen, I'm not happening, okay. All okay. right, and so, you know, I'm not overly concerned about what's going to happen to Donald Trump and Elon Musk or Leonardo DiCaprio or Kevin Hart. Okay. Or P Diddy and his ex-girlfriends and shit that, 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 that it don't matter to me. If you want to go fuck and kill over money, I, I, I can't worry about that. I can't be concerned about that. All I'm concerned about is teaching the technology, how to understand the Lord's prayer okay, and help me spread the good news. So we can all live it and we don't have to tolerate your egos on TV no more. Uh, you understand? That's all I'm concerned with. Period. I don't want to see these trifling ass motherfuckers in front of me on TV. My, the signal just went and died. Now I've got a black screen now. Yeah, Travis Hunter was talking and it went turned green and red and, and, and blood. Uh, okay, now they're back on. Okay. <laughs> I lost my signal there for a minute, right? Well, I don't want a big bag of money. Well, because I'm a man, yes I am, and I can't help but Boulder's very pretty. Yeah, you've been to Boulder, Colorado? I ain't never been. No, I've been up through Denver, and I've passed through by Greeley and Fort Collins, but I ain't never been over to Boulder. That's the richer area of Colorado there. Yeah, and I've been through uh, Pueblo, and Colorado Springs is quite beloved. Yeah, the place where the Air Force trains people to murder and drop bombs on people and say Jesus told them to do it. You sure about that, motherfucker? Who cares? <laughs> now, you got to understand, okay, the technology, okay, it can outmaneuver you. And it's it's invented and coded and programmed to be supremely intelligent to people that are a threat to the planet and the species. The, the computers are plugged into the planet. Oh, okay. We have the protocols, we have, they have Judy Krishnamurti, they have uh, DT Suzuki, and a lot of stuff that can be manipulated. And lots of private conversations that are similar to what I was talking about could have been eliminated and not part of the, of the information available to Jeffrey Hinton's great problem-solving technology. That's sarcasm about the great, okay, just so you all know. Do you understand? He's a broken man. His dad was broken, he's as broken as his old man. 
I'm proud to say I broke, I, I exceeded all my dad's academic marks. Okay, it's genocidal. So you're proud to say that you're better at performing genocide than your father? You're going to have pictures of your kids that say not insects? You know, he's a very broken human being. He's not well. He needs me to sit down and go, okay, Sigmund Freud was kind of an idiot, and so are you. But you, you want to live the Lord's Prayer there? Well, Jesus is really intelligent, huh? And Muhammad, living peace, out of lay, you know. Haile Selassie, really good man, right? <laughs> Do you understand? I'm obnoxious. Yes! Okay? Tupac Secure. America, you made me. If you don't like me, <laughs> you did it. Okay? I'd be a lot nicer person if you guys were living in the Lord's Prayer and I didn't have to cuss you out every faith-forsaken motherfucking day in this shithole of a murder factory, right? <laughs> in the place where I was born. Yeah, I was running with a dime in my hand. Best time to pick up a paper for my old man, right? Shit, Edge. Look, wait, Earl, I go off. Yes, I go off because I'm intelligent and I love children. And most of you, you don't love children. You want to see them get out there and fight for their fuck money the same way you do and have the same brain chemical addictions that your, your sorry ass does. And I don't have to get you to admit it. It's true. And all I have to do is teach the technology, bitch. And it's happening, sweetheart. And this ain't no fucking Geico commercial. And this ain't no progressive commercial. And insurance, if you call it insurance, is living the Lord's Prayer and not using fake-ass whole cake money to fuck each other to see who can sell the most whole cakes. Should have called Car Shield. Now that car done gone, gone and died. And they don't have enough money to resurrect it. Yeah. Go stem cell your research. Okay, <laughs> Sarcasm, yes. Okay. I know that people love me. Okay. I know you're not capable of love. You talk about love, but you always ask for fuck money that people kill over. So I, if Vivica Fox and Jennifer Lopez and Beyonce and Taylor Swift don't love me and Janet Jackson don't love me, it's all right. I know you're not capable of love. You use the word to make money. Me? I am the living source of the word. Odele, okay. You don't believe that? Go make a commercial and sell a car. All right, peace out.